Hello everybody. How are you today? I'm hoping you're doing well. So we are going to do an 8x8. Eight eight. Um, I haven't decided. I want it to be a bloom. I haven't decided if it will be an all over bloom. Uh, a, like a straight line bloom or if I'm going to make it a round bloom. So let's, I think we're going to do a straight one. I'm kind of into those right now and enjoying them tremendously. So I think that's what we'll do. So uh, this is Glidden GLE 3000 right out of the can and I just put that down and spread it around and I'm going to need a little more so let's add a little more right around the edges There we go. So that should get it flying out there on the edges. We can take care of those later. And so what I'm gonna do, yeah, this is similar to a couple paintings ago. We're going to put our paint, and I wanna look at that one, okay. I see what I did. I kind of want to do the same thing because I really like that, this look. So I'm going to start out here. I'm going to kind of go up like so. Okay. So this is Brilliant Blue by I don't know who one second I have to look this is brilliant blue by Liquitex and then we've got this little piggy or it's a pigment And this is, this is the painting that I like to do that is more of a, um, more of a Dutch, uh, blow in that the Dutch is thinner and it gives you those wispy, um, that wispy look to it. So, um, I really like it because you don't have to keep two sets of paints. I know I keep saying that over and over again, but sometimes people will watch one video and they miss the video where I said such a thing and then they don't know. So I kind of do repeat that. So your, your Dutch paints are thinner for a Dutch pour. And so you have to have a separate set of paints from these little tubs. And because of that, I just got rid of that goober. Um, that's why you need to have two different sets. Well, with this, you're using your bloom recipe to get the Dutch pour look. This one, I'm really excited to try this next color. This is called Amsterdam Pearl White. And it is just white. And it's got a pearlescent look in it. And I'm interested to see what it does. I think it's going to be pretty because sometimes I know I, I've never mixed up a white yet for, my, for a color to use in my paintings, nor do I have a black mixed up and I want to mix them up. Never thought of using them till I saw another artist do it and um, it looked really pretty in amongst those colors. Never thought of using white or black. So that's what we're doing. 
This is aqua green. There we go. Next is going to be an interesting color that I thought would look pretty with this. It's Van Dyke Brown, a deep, deep, dark brown. And um, I think it'll be pretty against the, the blues and the teals, especially that gold and that pearl white. Oh, yeah, look at that. This is going to be pretty. So as you can tell, I am experimenting with different color palettes because I know I do a lot of teal and purple. Those are my favorite colors. I'm sure you can tell. Okay, next is Tail Feather Pigment. which is too thick, so let me fix that real quick. And when you're going to add, um, when you want to thin your, your colors, you want to use a combination of, um, I use a combination of Minwax Polycrylic, three parts to one part water, and I have it in a little condiment jar. And um, I just squirt a little bit in, and that helps hold the, the paint or the pigment together, and it, but yet the water and the min wax thin it. And that's all you have to do to thin down your colors, because sometimes they will get thicker after sitting a while. It's almost still too thick, but I think it'll be okay because we're going to use our big hair dryer. So we're going to go for it. Okay, and the last one we're going to use is Peacock Pigment by Primary Elements. going to make an interesting and pretty color palette here. Okie dokie. So those are our colors. Now I'm going to use the black cell activator. So let me get that shooken up, shaken up. We're going to pop our little bubbles. Okay. Here we go. So we're going to use the big hair dryer. I'm going to be ready for that because once you put your cell activator on, you don't want to fiddle around. You want to hurry up and blow it out so that it doesn't sink. No fiddling around. And we're just going to blow.
There we go. And what do I end up with? A teal painting. <laughs> oh well, it, it looked interesting to me at the moment. So I'm going to grab my turkey baster. Oh, the shirt with these little ties on it are going to get in the way, so I better tie them or they'll have paint on them. little puffs you just want to blow until you see your color coming up through and then that will make cells oh I really like this Van Dyke Brown it tones everything down Think of what this reminds me of. All right, let's let it work for a little bit. Um, I don't know what it reminds me of. Something in nature, but what? I don't know. So you don't want to rush this. You want to give it time. Um, when doing these videos, I'm kind of trying to keep them shorter for you. And so sometimes I rush. So what I try to do is put my colors down quicker. And then that means we can allow time for this part of the process to happen. Because sometimes it takes a minute or two. I have some kind of white gunk on my shirt. It's not paint. I don't know what it is. Went out today and got some mulch. Put it in the front flower bed. And then it poured just now. So it got a good washing down in there. Oh, this is pretty. Really pretty. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do just a little bit of wrecking around the edge just in case it doesn't all go off. There we go, just whatever swirly pattern you come up with. And those cells have developed pretty good, so we're going to spin. We're ready to go. It's growing. Oh, wow, that's pretty. I love it. I love that brown in there. So now, well, I'm going to spin some more. We're going to let it get out and over the edge. If not, we'll be tipping it a little bit. Oh, 
Oh, these cells here are just gorgeous. Now I'm gonna hate to tip that. So we've got we got to get it over this way. Which way? That way. So I'm going to push my canvas over that way, and the centrifugal force will take it out there. Or not. Not quite. So I'm going to tip just a little bit. Whoa. All right. We're going to have to pick it up and tip. So I'm going to tip it over this way. Give it a little help with my thumb. And then I'm going to tip it over this way. And this needs a little bit of help here, too. Just a little bit. This is gorgeous. Look at it, guys. I love the look of the teal and the brown together. That is really sharp. Okay. Let's put it down. I'm going to give it another spin. Get my little edges here. Get a little bit right there. And oh, this side is gorgeous. I love it when the cells go over the side okay oh that's pretty all right let me take you down I'm going to show you what we got because it is pretty and I always have a hard time deciding which way I want the painting to go now that like that vertical is cute but that's cute too. And that's kind of cute like that. Looks like to me it looks like clouds up here and it's raining down rain. But so here are the cells. Pretty and a lot of shimmer from that ore that's in there and some of the other pigments. I love that Van Dyke brown. I thought that would show up really dark, but it, it, it lightened up and it's not overpowering. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to ask any questions you might have in the comments and please subscribe to my channel. I'm working towards getting to 500. I'm just a, I'm a newbie and I'm just a little one, a new little person. And I would love to get to 500 subscribers. All right. Thank you, everybody. Good night.